Hello my friends and welcome to this new video. Here I present to you the plugin Fanfields 2. I'm a text-to-speech voice. Heistigand just enjoyed trying this out. Let's get started. For a better overview I switch off the portal names and levels, because we now want to draw a polygon around some portals with the draw tools to calculate a fan field. So that we can see that in a second, I'll turn on the new layers for the fan field. By using the draw tool I now draw a polygon around a few portals. We'll also include this one on the left. Oops. We'll fix that right away. The plugin has now immediately calculated our fan field and drawn it on the map. It also chose a portal as the starting point, from which we need many keys to link to. Now, each portal shows how many keys are needed to set up the fan field according to this plan. The portals are also numbered in the order in which they must be visited. If we want to create as many links as possible from our starting portal, we can change the direction to outbound. The starting portal now shows us how many outgoing links can be created and how many SoftBank Ultra links are required for this. However, if we already know that we don't have enough SBULs, we can set how many we can or want to use. The keys required for the portals are then calculated accordingly. If the respect intel function is used, currently existing links are seen as a barrier during the calculation and no crosslinks are created. This can be useful if you don't have enough weapons for a destruction, or if you can't or don't want to visit the portals of disruptive links. The FanFields 2 plugin is also ideal for planning classic multilayers with two anchor portals. To do this I'll move the starting portal to one anchor and, in this example, change the portal order to counterclockwise, so that the second anchor portal becomes the first in the link order. The other portals are then built from the inside out and collect as many mind units as possible. When zooming in or out of the map, some portals disappear from view. The plan is then recalculated, missing important portals in the process. To prevent this and still see the details, we can lock the recalculation. Although the portals are not fully loaded onto the map yet, the calculated plan now remains intact. With a click on stats the plugin spits out some numbers, the amount of portals, links, and fields, as well as the expected AP for them. Of course you still have to consider AP for destroying and capturing the portals, but these points cannot be predicted by the plugin. The show as list option creates a list of all portals and keys in the order that the plan provides. It can simply be copied into a spreadsheet. The bookmarks plugin is also supported. The fan field portals can be saved as bookmarks with a single click. Also the links can be copied into a draw tools plan. The plugin is hosted on GitHub. It still has some bugs and there are also some ideas for improvements. If you enjoy coding and feel called to contribute to the project, you are more than welcome to clone and modify the project on GitHub and submit your suggestions as a pull request. The link to that, who would have thought that, can be found in the video description.